Are you yeah. entering your villain era? Yes. Fuck you, bro. I don't know anything about this. We've got the second Ready? location. I can imagine it. Hi, welcome to Sky's vlog. Today we are shooting. There's something I'm missing. No, the camera. Okay. Today we are shooting <laughs> a short film. Enjoy. Scream, bitch. It's called what? <laughs> Scream time. Scream time? Play? Scream? Actually, can I borrow you? Now she said that. No. Can I borrow you? Let's go be here. We'll be right back. We'll right <laughs> Why is my immediate response to laugh every time I see myself? We wrapped on the film. So excited for that bitch to come together. For today, I have a haul. Why am I this geek? Get it together. Do I need a reason to why I wanted this? I just wanted this. I have a bag's worth of things. Now, there were like nine things, ten things that I ordered. So, this isn't like a fat ass haul, but you know, it is getting to that spooky season time and I want to participate. Yes, let's get into the haul. Now, I ordered everything off um, Ramwe. It's the baby version of Shein, but you get a whole bunch of Shein packages if you order off Ramwe. Ramwe? Ramwe. Anyways, now first thing right out the package is as I've grown, realized I ran out of pants or bottoms per se just to wear around. I'm a I'm a jogger girl at heart. Like catch me in any type of any type of fit. 99% of the time is gonna be joggers. I'm wearing joggers right now. You can't spell feet without feet. <laughs> but yeah, they're a peace sign. I don't know. I thought it was unique. They feel fairly sturdy. Like, the fabric looks thin, but so did the Walmart kind. So, <laughs> China, they're catching up. <laughs> was that racist? It wasn't. I was talking about a whole thing. Something to wear around the house, honestly. I don't be doing too much. I be doing stuff, but not too much. Oh, and these are in a size large. I get everything in large. I'm a large female, okay? I'm, I'm like 5'8". And I weigh like, I don't know, 170 sometimes, give or take. Next are these brushes. 
Look at these. I wanted longer brushes that I could do more eye work with. Ooh, I'm doing it. <laughs> but yeah, they're individually wrapped. They're like this, um, what would you call this? What is it called? They got this sparkly type acrylic design in them. And they're like shaped for optimal grippage. <laughs> Would you say stop? Stop with the words? I'm not describing them right? You're right. I'm gonna mind my business. It's a whole pack. It came. Let me see how much. Oh, do you want prices? Let me not give away prices. That's gonna really show how much money I really do not have. <laughs> It's a 20 piece glitter handle makeup brush set. Yes, I am geeked. Next we have this. It's a little face makeup brush. Not makeup brush. It's a facial cleansing brush. This one was 74 cents. I'm not even gonna cap. That's really the main reason I got it, but I don't know. Sometimes my skin be acting ignorant and um, I really just wanted to try this. I have an electric version of this and that was just way too much work like after a while like the batteries did not work it was a hassle if this doesn't work out i probably will use this to like clean my makeup brushes with to be honest <laughs> now this is something i really wanted to treat myself with because i don't know in this season i just didn't feel black enough so i ordered the uh, um what do you call this Bandana, a do rag, a head scarf. Tell it what you want, love. It's this same thing. And I'm realizing now that like I could have got a lot of this at like my local beauty supply, but like I don't know, the local beauty supply stores they just don't hit anymore. The prices have increased. The quality of things they have available has decreased. Feeling it right now, this is giving cheap. It's giving, how much was this? $2.39. Now, was this worth $2.39? I don't know. It's been a while since I've like bought my own head scarf. There's always just one around the house in which one became mine. This bonnet that I have, this basic black bonnet that's outstretched its um elasticity or maybe my hair is just big i don't know i definitely made a tiktok about it and people got pissed off at that tiktok <laughs> it wasn't satire i was just being weird but yeah this was three dollars so i assume this is fair market price feels slightly cheap not gonna lie but maybe i'm used to like the legitimate ones i got these butterfly earrings why because they looked hard in the picture. Now, in real life, they still look hard. I'm messing with these. They looked bigger, like bulkier, but that wasn't necessarily something I wanted. Can I go off? Really looking forward to getting weird with these. Let's continue. Next up, I have this. It's a bandeau top. Now, I'm hoping this is not too big. I got this in a size large, again, because I'm a large woman. Now, ma'am. <laughs> But yes, I wanted to try my hand in uh, strapless things. Don't know how I feel about it. Mm, don't know how I would fit into it. We'll see what that be in the try on portion. I got myself a hairbrush. Really could have used this yesterday, but it'll get used. Now again, this really could have been a trip to the local beauty supply store, but because I, it just wasn't given. I've been there and they're just, is it their fault? No, they're probably falling into the very capitalistic society in which is crumbling by late stage capitalism. I mean, it feels, it feels regular. <gasps> These little grippy things are hearts along. Can you see that? Their hearts up and down the shaft. That's kind of hard <laughs> for comparison purposes. Um, this one, don't mind the hair in it. It's used. My mom was detangling my hair once and it broke. Now, 
this one, I don't know how much I paid for it. I, I seriously bought this at um, Target. I think I was greenwashed because this definitely was supposed to be recycled plastic or something. I like wider type brushes because I have a lot of hair to go through. And you know, brushes break, combs break, that's nothing new to me. But the fact that this was specifically meant for like detangling hair, I don't know if they meant black hair, but it broke. It's from the wet brush line. I don't know. But yeah, that sucked. I was trying to be more ethical for the planet, but I guess that just wasn't in the cards for me. So yes, I got myself a new one. Was there a reason I got this one? I kind of liked the way it was shaped. It was something about it that made me think, hmm, this might detangling wise. I'll definitely let you know later because Deadass just washed my hair yesterday, which was a task, but um, it'll get us a chance to shine. So, next. I don't even know what to call this, bro. This is a garter belt? Yeah, I wanna go make whatever assumptions you want, but you can't tell me this ain't fire. Look at this. And they say it's adjustable. I'm sure this is the adjustable part right here, but look at this. This front part is like made out of some faux fill and leather with this like metal heart right here. It's got like adjustable bands in the back. It looks pretty stretchy. I don't know, man. This is the type of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I promise you I'm not that weird. I'm a little weird, but not that weird. Uh, this next thing is a skirt. This was the most expensive thing that I bought. Expensive being $10 or like nine something. I don't know. This also in a large, again, cause I'm a large woman. It has little heart details on the side here. It's very basic. It feels really not thin. It doesn't feel see-through or look see-through, but it's definitely on the lighter side of material. Now this does look exactly what I imagine it would look like from the pictures. So very excited, especially to go with my garter belt. Yeah, you, you saw what was happening? Spooky season, spooky season. I'm not sure if uh, I wanted to show this, but it's basically an underwear set. Again, for spooky season and for myself. <laughs> this is the top. I'm not gonna show you the bottoms because it's basically a thong, but tell me this isn't giving spooky season, let's begin. Now, it's a simple bralette. I've given up on the idea of wearing real bras. At this point, who for? Really into bralettes. I used to be a really huge Nike sports bra girly. Like, that's all I wear, damn near. But now I'm expanding my horizons and uh, we've entered the spooky season. So this probably will not make it to the trial. And if you were curious, the girlies who were curious, it's basically the same like thing, I guess. Why does it smell like Elmer's glue? <laughs> this is also in a size large, just in case you're curious for real, for real. I thought the material would be more um, swimsuity. It's slightly swimsuity, but like, it's definitely some sort of synthetic cotton. Fairly stretchy. But yeah, that was it for my haul. I <laughs> kind of shocked that it all fit in here. I, I was expecting a box or something. Yeah, I didn't pay enough for a box. But yeah, thank you guys. I hope you guys enjoy October's spooky season. Don't really know what I'm gonna do for that time. I plan to scare my brother at every opportunity for the entire month of October. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Um, I have no proper outro. I'm just trying to do this for real, for real. But thank you guys for joining me once again. I hope to see you next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. If you want to, I do have other social media platforms. You can find me at mk underscore lols. That's mk lols. <laughs> Don't ask me why I made up that name. That's that's just something I made up in the seventh grade and now we're here. Check out my other videos, bye!